Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. My name is Natalia Lee, I'm an indie author and the managing editor at Enchanted Ink Publishing, and today is April 1st, the first day of Camp NaNoWriMo. I am hoping to film vlogs all throughout the month. Uh, they certainly will not be daily vlogs like I was doing for a while during NaNoWriMo, but I do want to vlog my process and my progress throughout the month. So if you did not watch my, I think it was, yeah, my previous video. If you didn't see that one, I will link it down below. Uh, in that video, I talked about my goal for Camp Nano. I had originally set my goal at 30,000 words, thinking that 30K would probably put me at completion of the novel. Um, I have written since then. I am sitting at about, I'm sitting between 24 and 25,000 words. So I went ahead and updated my word count to 25,000 on the NaNoWriMo website. However, um, I'm not so much aiming for a word count as I'm aiming for completion of the first draft. And I'm thinking 25,000 words will get me to a completed first draft. So that is my goal. Um, I am very excited about it. I Today is obviously April 1st, Saturday. It is Saturday afternoon. It's been quite a stressful week. Um, not only did I have a lot of work and admin stuff this week, but if you have been following here or on my second channel, you might know that we kind of live in a wildfire area and wouldn't you know it, we have another wildfire burning right now. Very, very, very close to our house. Um, so Thursday, Friday, uh, Greg and I were really distracted in terms of work. We've been on pre-evac for a couple days. We're still on pre-evac today. So we had the horse trailer all loaded up and ready to go. And we were just like constantly keeping up with the news and, you know, seeing if we were going to be evacuated for the fire. It seems like they are getting it slowly contained. So I'm feeling better today than I have been the past two days. Uh, yesterday especially, I was really distracted with work. I couldn't focus. I didn't write anything. Uh, but today I'm feeling a little bit better. So that's kind of what's been going on uh, for us recently. I did write once this week. I wrote on Thursday before the uh, pre-evacuation warning came out and before we realized kind of what was going on. Uh, so I did write a little bit on Thursday. I wrote... 610 words, so not a whole lot. The last day before that was last Sunday. I wrote 1,251 words. So, not many words this week. I'm hoping I can get some words in today and tomorrow. If, if I am aiming for 25,000 words, and let's just say I'm only writing on the weekends, because right now I can sometimes write after work during the week, uh, but that's not always the case, just depending on how much editing work I have and how exhausted I am at the end of the day. Uh, I would have, I'm gonna count it up and see how many days, how many weekend days we have in April. 10 weekend days, which means I would need to write about 2,500 words a day to hit the 25,000. So I guess I'll make 2,500 my goal for today. I don't know if I'm gonna hit that. That's quite a lot for a single day, but let's stop talking and start writing. And again, welcome to day one of Camp NaNoWriMo. Okay, I wanted to give you guys a little update. It is five o'clock. I have not been writing this whole time. Um, Greg and I went outside. We cleaned the horse's water trough, did their hay. Um, there were some neighbors out and about, so we were just kind of being social and chatting. And now I am back inside. I have a coconut water over here and I'm about to get back to work. Um, I've written 690 words, so not a whole lot, but I felt like I was a little slow kind of getting back into the scene. But um, I feel like I have a little bit more uh, flow now, I guess you could say. So I know where I'm going with this chapter. I know what it needs to achieve. And it's not a very, it's not an active chapter. Um, this is like a reaction beat. So we had the twist in the previous chapter, which was really, really fun to write. And now the main character is reacting to that. 
So it's a little bit um, more of a, it's a slower chapter, um, more like introspective, but I'm still having a good time writing it. So I'm going to get through this chapter and then let me look at my outline. So I'm on chapter 13. Um, chapter 14 will introduce a bit more action. And then chapter 15, it, the action's really going to take off. So I think it is probably natural for me to be a little bit slower writing a slower paced scene. Um, I find, of course, when I'm writing a really action packed scene, I write faster. And then when it's a more introspective scene, it takes a little bit more time and thought to like work through that. So we'll see if I can maybe potentially get close to finishing up this chapter tonight. I think I said this is this is chapter 13. I had forgotten already. So we'll see if I can get close to finishing up chapter 13 today. Um, I would definitely like to have it finished up by the end of this weekend. And I'm currently sitting at, I'm currently sitting at 23 chapters. So there will be about 10 more after this, according to my outline, but I'm also making changes to my outline as I go, just depending on what the story is kind of calling for. So that is my little update. Um, Greg is making me a sandwich, which I'm quite excited about. So I'm going to eat a sandwich, going to have my coconut water, and we're going to just dive right back into day one of Camp Nano. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up day one of Camp NaNoWriMo. It is almost eight o'clock. Again, I have not been writing this whole time. I have been in here, whoa, um, I have been in here, but I got a little bit distracted on Pinterest and like aesthetics images and stuff like that. Uh, but I did just kind of let myself enjoy it and have fun and save a bunch of pins and pictures. Uh, but I am sitting at 1,484 words. That is about a thousand words shy of what I hope to write today. But this has already showed me that I think 2,500 words, uh, or I guess 5,000 words a weekend, is going to be really difficult. So as much as I can, I want to try to work during the weeks as well, even if that's just 100 words, you know, a couple hundred words here and there after I finish my editing work for the day. So we'll see how that goes. My eyes are feeling pretty tired, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up my screen time, and we will be back at it tomorrow on Sunday. I will see you then. Hello everybody, happy Sunday. It is about 3 p.m. and I have done no writing today, but I am here in my office and I am ready to get some words down. Um, what do we do today? We, Greg and I went out to eat this morning. It was really nice. And then we went and ran some errands, got home probably around 11 or so, did some cleaning, did some like planning for the house projects that we hope to achieve this spring and summer. So it's been a really good day. And now I'm in my office and ready to write. So I told you yesterday that if I only write on weekends, I'll need to write about 5,000 words a weekend. And I feel like that's not going to be an attainable weekend goal every single weekend. That is a lot of words. So I'm already feeling like I'm going to need to try to get in, you know, 100 words here or there during the week, you know, when I'm done with my work for the day. So that's gonna be something that I try to, what's the word I'm looking for? Essentially just like include in my schedule, my work schedule this week. So I'm not necessarily going to be aiming for 2,500 words today. I think that would be quite a lofty goal. We are just going to pull up my document and start writing. Uh, I am currently sitting at 75 pages. I am only 25 pages away from hitting 100 pages in my rough draft, which is so cool. So let's stop talking and start typing. Okay, it is five o'clock. I have been writing for a while and I actually got way more words than I thought I was going to get today. I had a new idea for something to add to this chapter and it really helped um, kind of like transition from the 
introspective nature of the chapter into the next chapter which is a much more like explosive action beat and that transition just worked perfectly. I had so much fun with it and I ended up writing 2,159 words. Now I'm going to go ahead and update my word count on the NaNoWriMo website. Okay, so with that update, I'm sitting at 3,643 words for my first two days of Camp Nano. I am quite happy with my word count as it sits. However, that means I will need to write a bit this week, and I pulled up my calculator, did a little bit of math, and I will need to write 1,357 words this week before Saturday in order to kind of keep up with my goal of writing 25,000 words in April. Um, I believe, I'm not certain, but I believe I can change my goal um, on Camp Nano even after I have updated my word count. I'll have to double check, but if that is the case, then I might end up altering that word count as I progress through my outline just to keep the goal at finishing the first draft. So if I'm working through it and I'm thinking, okay, this might actually need 30,000 words or 35,000 words that I will just go ahead and make that update to the NaNoWriMo website. But that is where we are sitting for now. Thank you for watching this first April Camp NaNoWriMo vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. You can, of course, follow my progress here. You can follow me on Instagram if you're interested. I'm at Natalia A. Lee. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. That helps other people find this video as well. And I intend to film throughout the week. I'm hoping to do um, weekly Camp Nano vlogs. And I just decided to do uh, days one and two in this vlog. And then you will see days three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three through nine probably in my next vlog. So if you are participating in Camp NaNoWriMo, I hope it is going well for you. I will leave my NaNoWriMo username info down below if you want to be friends over there. And I will see you <laughs> in my next video. Bye everyone.